Hey what's up guys, my name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Nostalgia Critic and it's going to be Waterworld. Oh boy, this is going to be totally awesome because I want to see what the Nostalgia Critic has to say about the movie Waterworld. Now I gotta say guys, I absolutely love Waterworld the movie. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people hate this movie and a lot of people love this movie. I think uh, it sort of goes like this. Uh, the people that love this movie can't understand why people hate this movie, and the people that hate this movie can't understand why people love this movie. Um, it's sort of like a yin-yang situation, sort of two sides of a coin, so to speak. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is gonna be very fascinating to see what a Nostalgia Critic has to say about this movie. I believe this movie had, um, Kevin Cos Costner in it, and, uh, Dennis Hopper, I believe. Um, I mean, God rest Dennis Hopper's, uh, soul. Um, I mean, he passed away, unfortunately. Uh, I found that out during the sort of, sort of Super Mario Brothers movie or something like that, um, where Dennis Hopper was in that. I can't remember what movie it was. It was like a Mario movie, Mario Brothers movie. Um, and I realized that he died. I was, I was shocked because he was in speed. Um, but that would be totally awesome. Can you imagine if, uh, Kenebu Reeves was in, um, this movie, Waterworld, because, uh, Dennis Hopper was in speed. And uh, also Kenu, Kenu Reeves, um, uh, you know, John Wick. <laughs> uh, but it's, see, it would be totally awesome to actually see John Wick in Waterworld instead of uh, Kevin Costner. But the reason why I like this movie, I just want to say, is that um, I think uh, Kevin Costner is a bit like James Bond for me. You know, he's soothing, he's charming, he can make any movie good. I mean, I even enjoyed the movie The Postman or something like that. Uh, that was good. Um, and The Bodyguard and, you know, movies like that. He's been in a lot of movies like Dancing with Wolves or something like that. Um, he's been in a lot of movies and even though some of them are bad, um, well, in other people's opinion, I've always considered them charming. He's like James Bond, he charms you into the movie. Maybe just for me, that's my opinion. Maybe that's just me. Um, but he's got a charming, uh, sort of personality that you, you sort of get fascinated and he dives you deeper into the movie. I could be talking bullshit, uh, but that, that could just be me. And you're thinking, what the hell are you talking about? The guy sucks. His movie sucks. What are you talking about? Um, but, uh, yeah, that's just, uh, my personal experience um but uh yeah let's uh check out the video shall we <laughs> let's go hello i'm a nostalgia critic guy remember it so you don't have to let's talk about water world oh, you know boy. that's always the reaction i get mm. water world a great movie I mean, for this me this film is known as one of the great all-time bombs it was mm. the most expensive movie made oh at the yeah time, and it didn't even come close to making its money back but mm. is it really as bad as everybody makes it sound? A lot of people hate this movie. Does it deserve all the bad press it continues mm. to get even to this day? Yeah. What's yeah. in this movie that just pisses people off so much? I've never Aside understood it. Aside from the that. obvious number one. Yeah, get Well, custom. there's dangerous waters up ahead. Let's see if we can get through them. This is Waterworld. So after we get the traditional Universal logo with Earth still having no visible clouds, we take <laughs> a quick glimpse into the future. The future. The polar ice caps have melted. Mm covering the earth with water global warming's a bitch those who survived <laughs> have adapted ah, great it's a trailer for another al gore movie <laughs> an inconvenient truth to somebody listen to me so we see that mankind oh has adapted into the kevin costner of blandness kevin, kevin costner. costner we see him take a piss put it through <laughs> a machine and proceed to drink it there's a Ugh. fitting metaphor for this movie they in do here, that in space they so this they filter it, and recycle just to give you their an urine. Idea how boring Costner's acting is, just look at this scene. Because <laughs> the urine contains water. He's you know, actually you in it. these shots. He hasn't left the frame. He just leaves such a small impact <laughs> on the audience that you can't even see him. Huh, <laughs> that takes talent. <laughs> he then comes across a drifter and makes some chit chat. <laughs> well, I owe you then. No thanks. I got all the supplies I need. Two drifters meet. Something needs to be exchanged. I know the cause. <laughs> Nothing's free in Waterworld. Hey, it's the model the producers right. of this movie always said. <laughs> but it uh, turns out the boy. drifter stole his plant, and an evil band of water terrorists called the Smokers are out to get it. And now we see exactly what takes up the majority of time in this movie. <laughs> I thought these scenes were pretty Stop! cool. Just, just stuff. 
Yeah, I thought it was very Ooh, creative. Stuff go. Have you ever seen so much stuff happening at the same time? <laughs> Ooh, now he's spinning some stuff. That stuff must be important because that stuff allows him to do this stuff. <laughs> Oh, look out for that stuff. Knock that stuff over so you can pick up that other stuff Mine's while you're busy trying to handle this stuff. Sort of stop, like Pirates of the stop, Caribbean, stop. you know, Jack Sparrow sort of style so when he's running around the whole entire ship. And the smokers <laughs> catch up with the drifter and shoot him. Which begs the question, why didn't they just shoot Costner? But let's leave the small plot holes for the bigger plot holes. Yep, yes, he reaches a not? city that sort of looks like a paper mache toilet seat <laughs> and sells a jar of dirt for a ton of money. He comes across Hulk Hogan's barber here as he's told about a map to dry land that apparently is tattooed on the back of a little girl. Mm. One more, make it two. <laughs> Man, this rich will bite for a fellow up water, I'm sure. <laughs> One. That's an interesting pair of boots you got. I'm confused. Is he trying to establish himself as the arch nemesis or trying to ask Costner out on a date? <laughs> a fresh water Why are you talking to me? Just being friendly. Wow. Before Costner heads out, though, he's offered an Asian chick. <laughs> That's nice. We can look to our own for impregnation, but too much of that sort of thing gets undesirable. <laughs> She's pregnant. You're going your way with all the supplies you need. Wow. You don't have anything. <laughs> You're dying. That was a good read, Costner, wow. but uh, why don't you try it once more and this time fucking care? <laughs> no man stays out there long and turns down a woman. He's hiding something. Wow, these are some long scenes Maybe he's playing. He's a smoker spy. Maybe mm. he's gay. Did they not survive high water? <laughs> yeah. So upon closer mm. inspection, they find out that Costner is a mutant. Gills. Gills. What are mutants in this world? <laughs> well, we're never given a full explanation, but apparently they're half human, half fish people. They evolved over time. Yep. And everybody hates them. Yeah. So, sounds. <laughs> why? Sounds weird. I mean, I know prejudice is a staple of mankind, but you have an apocalyptic world yeah, underwater and think... a guy who can breathe underwater. Mm. Fucking use him! Yeah. You shouldn't be putting him in a net. You should be treating him like royalty. <laughs> yeah. He can solve like a bajillion problems in this world, and you're mm. treating him like a criminal? What's wrong with these people? Mm. Seriously, what's Good with point. the hate against <laughs> mutants? There are mutants out there with incredible powers. Okay, Logan. okay, I get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, because the really cool guy that can breathe underwater and has a lot of helpful elements to him has okay. gills, I guess he must be destroyed. Mm. Therefore, in the interest of public safety, the only explanation. he is hereby sentenced to be recycled. Into what, Keanu Reeves? <laughs> wow, I just... The smokers attack to take over I said the Keanu Reeves, Reeves in the beginning of the video. <laughs> Monkey! Actually, something I never quite That's really got weird is how, how he just mentioned Kanu Reeves. I mean, okay, I can see that that at the beginning of the video. Why That's that creepy. Make them a terrorist group? Is there another evil organization out there called the Vegetarians, the Shopaholics, <laughs> or how about the deadliest forces of them all, the Trekkies? <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck with the Trekkies. Don't. Don't mess with the Trekkies. I'm a Trekkie. Right, Oscar, I, I dress up in a Trekkie what these people Star Trek are doing. costume. This is called giving a shit. You should try it sometime, and maybe your acting will improve. Trekkies are totally awesome. <laughs> okay, now this is turning into a water show. Just slap the Universal Studios Florida <laughs> logo at the bottom, and the advertising takes care of itself. <laughs> Look out! They're about to do a human triangle! <laughs> <laughs> So an old man named Gregor accidentally pushes the lever that launches his hot air balloon that he had in his room. Mm. This forces him to leave his friend Helen and the little girl named Enola behind. No! I'm sorry. It wasn't I think he was in the... Uh... <laughs> so I think Helen he was in the Green Mile, no that but guy. To free Costner and have him lead them I can't out remember of the his city. name. But I recognize him. I think he was in the Green... <laughs> Green Mile. Dolphin Some of that. This, of course, leads to you With guessed it. More stuff! Oh, look, he's pulling that stuff. If you start cutting that stuff, that will allow you to start swinging up. I this love stuff. this sort of stuff. Push that stuff. Pull that stuff. Mm. Look out for that stuff. Oh, I'm out of material. Uh, little girl, you take over. Come on, push it. Go, go, push it hard. Now pull it. Now pull it. Stop! <laughs> hey, can you steer? Can I trust you? Lady, you're on his boat. What's he gonna do, surrender? Can you steer? Can I trust you? No, you can't. What you gonna do about 
So he tricks one of the boats into firing at Dennis Hopper, which results in him losing an eye. Dennis but our Hopper. heroes get away Rest on Cosmere's boat as he shows his appreciation to Helen for saving his life. Kid, we've got to pitch over the side. What? It's better one of you dies now. Damn. Both of you die slow. Our <laughs> hero, everybody. Wow. When he's not busy <laughs> killing kids, he spends his time stealing from charities and burning down puppy farms. Well, you he's a survivor, hour and a half you know. Guy, folks. No, he's not a hero, on. he's a survivor. Helen tries to offer herself to him, but that will require him having an emotion, so he turns <laughs> her down. <laughs> require him having an emotion. God bless. Dry land. Killing's a hard thing to do well. It's not like acting. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess. <laughs> Her trying to kill him softens him up, apparently, as he decides not to finish the girl off. But she soon turns out to be a nuisance as she draws all over his boat and continues oh to boy. pester him. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. Damn. I told Helen you wouldn't be so ugly if you cut your hair. <laughs> oh, wow, roasted. Back to talk all the time. Storm when you're around. No, I'm Once again, our hero, everybody. Tired of hating the Nazis so much, why don't you try the main character of this film? There's plenty oh, of jerk damn. to go around. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, water she well that she can't swim. swim. That's... She's in a place called Waterworld, <laughs> yeah. and she can't swim? Maybe you should teach her, her how Isn't to that swim. Isn't like being in the Antarctic and not knowing how to put on a coat? <laughs> I mean, tell her something's going on, I'm saying! Yeah, that's a good point. So yeah. Cosmos that swings around silly. and picks them both up. But a lot before of they could, silly I don't know, develop character. Two of the smokers arrive and try to destroy them. That's them. Is that uh, Jack Black? Black yeah, I, was, I just You're said that at the same time. Like disappointments as golfers <laughs> that's travel. Creepy. I said that at the same time, but yeah, that's Jack Black. I know. Hurrah! Hurrah! So the plane is stuck swinging around the boat as the pilot tries to cut the wire. <laughs> I love that sound effects. Upset at her actions, Costner awesome. does the ballsiest thing he can think of. He gives her a mm. haircut. Mm. A nice that. That's really what he does. Don't ever touch anything on my boat again. Next time it'll be a perm with blonde highlights. <laughs> blonde highlights! Mm. He does the same thing to the girl, turning her into Haley Joe Osmond, just as they come across another drifter. I thought you all stopped for each other. Maybe he has some food! Jesus, Jesus, lady, did you pass a kidney stone on that line? <laughs> food! Food! Yeah. Damn. They meet up with the drifter, who I swear to God is played by a perverted Robin Williams. What you want for the women? I've seen this guy before in another movie. I can't remember what, but I've seen this character before. I want to buy your women, the little girl, your daughters. Sell them to me. Half an hour. Don't! Shut up. 45 minutes with the wee one. I like to do the talking, if you know what I mean. So just to backtrack, everybody, the most expensive film at the time included incest, child murder, and now pedophilia. How is it this film didn't well, it was the mainstream Well, it was there's no law, so... That's why they call it. But just as the apocalypse. drifter is about to rock her boat, Costner changes his times. mind and saves her. <laughs> I think it's safe to say this isn't worth any amount of. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh no, he painted his back red. <laughs> That's just annoying. Nanuing in such sweet sorrow. <laughs> so Costner goes to try and get some food by using himself as bait. He kills a sandworm in the water, oh, as a bit of a paradox, as he finally manages to feed everybody. <laughs> I see dull people. <laughs> I don't like my singing, do you? Nope. So Costner rather sporadically, decides he does like the kid now and is going oh, to show her how to swim. Just the water, tell your arms and legs how to move. 
We're going down. I Let's think. I think he's trying to be hard because he's a, he's so a sort a of survivor. So we get a minute and a half of just when the you, two of them swimming, which after when you're a survivor, you can't be nice. You know? in this world is starting to look a little suspicious. Now, hey, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that once you drop that bomb, you drop that fucking bomb. <laughs> okay, so they come across yeah, another no, trap set not. by the smokers as they turn around and try to hightail it out of there. This looks like a job for you guessed it. <laughs> I love it. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean. But Hopper gets a good shot in and wounds Costner pretty hard. Oh boy. He's hurt. No shit. But Costner heals pretty fast. In fact, I dare say it doesn't affect him at all. As Helen demands that Costner takes her to see Dryland. Oh, yeah, she'll be fine. Just ignore the fact yeah, that just... you just escaped the terrorists. They're most likely tracking you right now, and literally, you're not moving. <laughs> yeah, Let's just, just put the just... idiot clock up there to count down what a dumb idea this was. Okay. So he drags her underwater in That's the a safety good bubble, point. That only was to show her that dry stupid. land is all washed up. Of course, you could make the argument that the air pressure would kill her, and mm. if not, she'd probably run out of oxygen eventually. Mm. But like I said, let's keep it one plot hole at a time. Y yeah. And speaking <laughs> of which, the idiot clock is almost up. How is he Nola? She! What? The smokers got her? Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you do work. Idiots! <laughs> They jump in the water and Costner breathes oxygen into her mouth, of leaving the smokers to destroy the boat and take Enola away to try to figure out the map on her back. My boat. You maniacs. You blew it up. <laughs> Damn you. Damn you all to hell. So as they sit there stranded, Helen asks Costner a question. When I offered myself to you? Why didn't you take me? Because you didn't really want me. Well, it's good mm. to know he's an ethical savage. Wow. Trying to murder children, sell women, and drowning little girls is fine. But when a lady <laughs> says no, he knows it means no. I think he's just misunderstood. He's a sort of toughy, but he's a marshmallow inside. But so he's while got participating act in post-boat burning, stepdaughter <laughs> kidnapping, inevitable death sex, which, let's be honest, <laughs> is the best sex. The mother of, of all friggin' coincidences takes place. Yeah, I guess he got that whole controlling the balloon so he can pick up people thing figured out. I think out. he's from the but Green Mile. Out, other people survived as they band together and try to figure yeah. out what to do. There's land. It's right under yep. our keel. I believe he played a prisoner. I believe. I know been there. He had the mouse or something so, like that. Drew. <laughs> so that's why he's going here through Nola, to find dry land. <laughs> I don't care about dry land. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't even think he was talking about the plan. I think he was talking about Costner's acting. I don't care about dry land. <laughs> I don't care about dry land. This is ridiculous. I think I so like Costner it when he's not to trying to act. Alone, that's why I like it. Smoker ship and being lucky enough to find a series of holes that's that just find happened to lead right up the boat. Lucky, lucky. I've got your pet freak coming to rescue you. He's not a freak and he can take you any time. Oh boy. He's killed dozens of people. He doesn't have any mercy or anything. He even kills little girls. He doesn't have a name, so death can't find him. He doesn't have a home or people to care for. He's not afraid of anything. Men least of all. You know, it's pretty bad when a little girl has to be your <laughs> spokesperson in a movie. Mm. It doesn't make the hero look especially sure. tough. I mean, can you imagine if Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction had a kid as a spokesperson? Yeah. His foe can block out the light of a thousand yeah, it doesn't suns. Like his face. teeth can take out even the biggest of kahuna burgers. <laughs> and his constant use of the N-word makes yeah. my mommy so angry that he's well worth the R. That's like a kid <laughs> explaining John oh, Wick. Sorry, did I break your concentration? <laughs> he's I love that It's like John... Someone explaining John Wick about him killing someone with a pencil. If it was a kid explaining the shadow of a noon sun. Kevin Costner is so mighty that they say even blood the bear Joe can defeat them. No, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. No, somebody else wanted that. No, 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 it was a little girl. She's totally crazy. So Hopper hypes up the crew by showing them that he has the map to dry land. 
This reminds me of Mad Max. Keep on rowing, which, let's be honest, it's looks unbelievable. style reason. reminds me of like Mad Max. But Costner comes in after the crowd has left to get his friend hmm. back. Hmm. It's him. It is him. Well, she's you guys surprised. Are in so much trouble. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> little brat, can I see it again? God, that's satisfying. Can I see a cycle of that? No, that's not satisfying. That's <laughs> <sorry. laughs> such a I thought you were stupid, friend. But I underestimated you. You were a total freaking retard. I want the girl. <laughs> that's all. Hmm. Well, what on this screwed up earth makes you think that you're gonna get her? Hey, uh, just out of curiosity, um, why aren't they shooting him? Isn't this just Good giving point. him time to whip out a flare, light it up, drop it down a pipe, and blow up the entire ship? Yes, it is! Yeah, good point. Now, to be fair, this does lead to a very <laughs> funny scene where the one guy who lives a very tortured life looking after the oil <laughs> sees the flare drop. Oh, thank God. Okay, you gotta admit that's really funny. Don't just stand there! Kill something! <laughs> Was this your big vision? Damn. Uh. All right, show me the scene again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, in the kid. So Hopper the gets kid the girl to the plane as we finally get the showdown between Costner and Goldilocks here. Mm -hmm. Goldilocks. You should stay on the water. You're fucked. Well, wasn't that a thrilling build-up to an unbelievable letdown? So we see that Hopper is getting away with Enola on the plane. What's Costner to do? Let's get ready for start! God bless you, Stuff. God bless the ball combat music. Honestly, that music is amazing. So Costner gets Enola to the balloon, but again, Hopper being the world's greatest shot, knocks her off. <laughs> no! No! Enola! He and some henchmen try to get to her as Costner thinks of a plan, which leads to, and let's be honest here, one of the stupidest rescue scenes ever! Oh boy. What the flying fuck bucket? This whole movie is bent on showing us all the technical aspects and exactly how it works, <laughs> and yet the last big action scene comes down to a wily e. coyote scenario! <laughs> oh, and I just love how they happen to have the exact amount of bungee cord from the balloon to yeah. the water to pull this stuff off. Yeah, what a bloody it's... douche, man. What a bloody douche. It is a bit silly, ain't it? But that's what I like about it. So Gregor finally figures out the language on her back and figures out the way to dry mm. land. And of course, when you know it, they eventually come across it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful place. I would love to live there. All right, I want to end this review. So <laughs> insert Lost, Blue Lagoon, Swiss Family <laughs> Robinson, Jurassic Park, and or Gilligan Island joke. Okay. Get creative. So Costner, of course, says he doesn't belong in this world and decides to go back to the sea. I guess he prefers drinking his own piss. <laughs> he says goodbye to the girl, gives the most non-caring kiss ever given to a woman, and sets out to let people down again in The Postman. The <laughs> Postman was okay, a good movie. I'm sorry. One of the biggest I enjoyed The Postman. Time. But is it one of the worst movies of all time? Not really, Well, no. let's look at the bad stuff. Costner's a bore, there's a ton of little plot holes that do start to add up. Yeah, and as far it as does as the expensive add up. movie at the time goes, but yeah, it's got its I'd charm. probably expect a lot more too. Mm. But for what it is, just a basic shoot 'em up action film, it's not that bad. Yeah. The sets are a lot of fun, you really get an atmosphere for this world. Dennis Hopper is enjoyably over yeah. the top. And to be honest, I kind of like stuff. Yeah. Watching the technicals of this world is really interesting. Pirates of the Caribbean style. I like seeing how style. everything works and functions mm. as it makes the world seem a lot more practical and real. But yeah, does that make it a good movie? It. No. But I don't see how that makes it an awful one either. Yeah, Maybe in a one. way that's its worst crime. <laughs> one of the most expensive movies of all time and it's just <laughs> okay. It's not spectacularly okay. bad or spectacularly good. It's just okay. It's okay. For many mm. moviegoers, simply being an okay movie is mm. the biggest letdown. But for me, it simply means it's okay. Hmm. Take what you will from that and decide on your own. I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember it, so you don't have to.
One more time. Oh god, I knew he was gonna do that. I just felt like it. I just felt the need of him to repeat that scene. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, I think that's... Food! Food. Okay, uh, that's the end of the video, I believe. Yep, that's the end of the video. Um, so, uh, yeah, I really enjoy Waterworld. It's got its charm. Yeah, granted, there's a lot of plot holes. I mean, a story doesn't really make sense. Um, you know, there's, it's cliche, you know, you're always predicting, uh, you know, stuff, and parts of it are stupid. But it's got its charm. Um, this movie, Waterworld, uh, sort of charmed me. And I know Kevin Costner's performance in this is uh, no emotion. <laughs> he, you know, you see more emotion from, like, the Terminator. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's something about it that uh, fascinates me. Because he's a survivor, um, you know, and I don't think he's trying to feel. I think he's, like, over time, he's trying to shut off his feelings. I don't think he's a good guy. I don't think he's a bad guy. He's a survivor. Uh, and, you know, when your entire planet's been, like, turned into water, you know, you got to survive. you got to learn how to shut off your emotions and stuff like that, you know. But, I mean, um, not to the extent that... He, I'm just saying that, you know, even though he's not emotional, he didn't need to be emotional, you know. I, I don't feel... If uh, Kevin Costner was emotional in this movie, it wouldn't be the same. Maybe you'd think, oh, that would make a better movie. But if he was emotional, if he showed more emotion, I think it would take something away from the movie. Or you may think it would add something to the movie. But I really, truly believe that. Kevin Costner's uh, sort of bland expression of just... Like, yeah, let's just get on with the movie, so to speak, when he's acting. I think that's his charm. That's why I like him. He doesn't take so much effort to follow his uh, emotions and all his thinking. It's just something you can watch, um, you know, without diving into depth. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I really like this movie. This movie's totally awesome. Um, it was uh, very strange how uh, me and Nostalgia Critic thought of uh, Kanivu Reeves uh, in this movie. Uh, I said that at the beginning and he said that, you know, during his review. I, I was just thinking of that because of the movie Speed. Uh, <laughs> because uh, Dennis Hopper and uh, Kanu Reeves was in that movie together. And that's what I was thinking. I'm pretty sure he made the same connection. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think that's uh, the other video. If you like this video, make sure to give a like. Comment down below. Make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>